Time now for a full look at the forecast, and we enjoyed a gorgeous day in the coastal bin yesterday. <laughs> Meteorologist Juan Acuna is joining us to let us know if we can expect more of the same. Juan, how's it going today? It's going well. Good morning, everyone. And I agree with you, Paula. We had a little bit of the cloud coverage yesterday, but considering the amount of wind and uh, considering how warm it was, some of the cloud coverage was actually welcomed in the area to get a little bit of some shade, and that's going to be the same case for today. We are starting off with plenty of clouds once again this morning, but not a whole lot of the uh, fog this morning. That's because our winds are a little bit elevated, keeping the uh, lower atmosphere mixed out there. We have that south southeasterly wind at 15 miles an hour, and we're holding on to the 60s right now. It's a live look over at downtown Corpus Christi looking at Corpus Christi Bay and the 60s are really prevalent this morning. 67 out at the Naval Air Station. Our water temperature this morning registering the mid 60s as well and still holding on to those lower 60s for our inland community. So not really needing a jacket this morning. It's a quite the mild start here and those south southeasterly winds are still hovering right at about 8 to 16 miles an hour. So we could still see some reduced visibility around 2 to 3 miles for the inland parts of the coastal bend, but I think a lot of that going to burn off. Notice by noontime today, there's still some uh, fog that's going to be lingering right near the coastline. The uh, boaters, mariners, and even some uh, spring breakers might notice that off into the distance if you're going to be off near the water. And then as we go throughout the morning, or I should say the evening, and going into tomorrow morning, we could see, see a little bit of some of that dense sea fog at about 7 o'clock, reducing visibility to about 1 to 3 miles. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Hour by hour forecast for today as we plan the day on out. Count on that wind being there once again by 11 o'clock already into the middle 70s. South southeasterly winds. These are sustained wind values at 23 and then it just continues to go up from there. And uh, look at that oh, it's hovering right around 30 miles an hour and still we're still expected to get into the lower 80s for today. So once again, it's a uh, fly a kite kind of day. We'll look for an afternoon high of 82 degrees with that south southeasterly wind 15 to 25. In fact, I should bump that up to 30 and see gusts close to 40 miles an hour once again. So we'll look for about 82 here, 85 in Robstown, nearing 90 degrees for many of our inland locations and even into the uh, upper 70s out near Flower Bluff Naval Air Station 79 and 72 off in Port Aransas. If you are tired of the wind, <laughs> this is not the forecast for you because all the way through today, Thursday, Friday, even on into Saturday, we're going to see those south southeasterly winds kicking up around 20 to 30 miles an hour, gusts to 35 to 40 miles per hour as well. With the wind that we have in place, not only does it increase our rip current risk across the area, but we do have the risk for some fire weather as well. And there's a lot of burn bands across the coastal bend, so uh, keep that in mind. There's a lot of dead vegetation out there as well. We haven't seen a whole lot of wildfires. This is a map that shows some of the active wildfires across the area, and uh, not a whole lot, maybe some down in uh, southern Duval County, out near Brooks County as well. But as you look at the uh, entire south central Texas region, a lot more near Port Lavaca and out near the Victoria Crossroads. So use caution, folks, as uh, we look at that. Today's pollen count, moderate counts of the uh, grass and high counts of mold out there as well. Still the cloud coverage and we have a frontal boundary up to the northwest of us. So 80 stay with us all the way through the week. Our next frontal boundary comes in late Saturday on into uh, Sunday. Scattered showers across the area, but only scattered in nature and less wind and cooler temperatures as we head into an early part of next week.